In Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, there is a brand new Egyptian faction, and it comes with two new maps. And we're gonna find out just how strong they are. 300 Spartans, the Roman Empire, and the Crusaders, amongst many, many more, will be attacking this Egyptian formation to put them to the test. There will be eight battles in total, but how many battles do you think they're gonna win? Comment down below, and whilst you're down there. Hit that subscribe button because we're aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And just a friendly reminder that subscribing is mandatory. Those who do not comply will be dragged from their home. Also, don't forget to join my Discord using the link in the description. Also, I've got a massive totally accurate battle simulator announcement in this video. It's to do with a brand new Tabs Faction Tournament series, so make sure you watch until the end so you you don't miss the announcement. In other words, watch the entire video. Okay, let's get started. And this is the official battle formation of the Egyptian army, according to me. Mm. Now, the first opponent will be the Roman Empire, with the Emperor and his bodyguards, a legion of archers, and a war elephant. Will it be enough? Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, here we go. The battle has begun. Is the bridge... Oh my god, the elephant is stuck behind the wall. Can he break the wall? That's the architect, by the way. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm not entirely sure what's happened here, but it looks incredibly bad for the Romans. This is, this is actual chaos. How on earth am I? There's an actual pyramid. Wow, okay. Well, this is my first time actually using these units, as I'm sure you can probably tell. Uh, it didn't fail to impress me, frankly. Um, in fact, if I'm perfectly honest with you, I think that might be uh, a little bit overpowered. I'm not sure what's doing that, but one thing I can tell you is that my frame rate is not enjoying it. There we go. It was a red victory, and dare I say, uh, a very convincing one. What makes that pyramid? Well, uh, I guess that's an Egyptian victory. Next up is the Crusader Knights, with their cavalry, archers, and Templar Knights. Will it be enough to take down this incredible overpowered Egyptian faction. Let's be honest, probably not. But that ruins the suspense, so yes. Okay, here we go. The cavalry is... Okay, that's gonna happen every single time, isn't it? Except cavalry on the other side has managed to breach around the corner here, but they have just been swept up in, I don't know, whatever that is on my screen right now. In fact, it looks like everything is on my screen right now, but the paladins appear to be staying alive here somehow in a Amongst all this absolute mess, maybe it's to do with the archers, the Egyptians have taken a considerable amount of casualties here, and the Crusaders are still moving in. And look at all these archers. I mean, actually, I think that this Egyptian faction might not be quite as overpowered as we initially thought. I mean, it is still quite overpowered. I've got a suspicion that the queen over there is the one that's doing the pyramids. Who is that? Oh my god, I think she's dead. If she, Wow, she's not dead. I'm not sure sure this is supposed to be what's happening, but it is happening nonetheless. And oh my god, she could actually still win this. If that pyramid kills all those guys down there, oh, imagine if she wins this. If she's still there, we go. That was actually almost a victory for the Egyptian faction, and if it was, I would be a bitter, salty, raging mess round about now. Next up is the Persian Empire, with their swordsmen, spearmen, and officers that will blot out the sun, versus the Egyptian formation. So far, the score is 1-1. This will be the tiebreaker. And away we go. Oh my god, I think I just saw a small head in there somewhere. Ooh, yes, there it is. Fingers crossed this chariot can kill it. Wow, it's got very dark. Oh my god, they've actually blotted out the sun. The Persians have quite literally blotted out the sun. Is it just me or did it legit just get darker there? Also, I think all they did was just team kill a lot of their own people. In fact, dare I say, most of their own people. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be going very well for them, and uh, this also doesn't seem to be going very well for my frames per second. Who wants to see a slideshow? Are you ready? I hope you like Microsoft PowerPoint, because that's what the rest of this battle is going to be. Only the highest quality videos here on the Plastics God channel, which is why you must subscribe. Okay, so somebody turned the sun back on so we can assess the amount of casualties and 
it's a lot. It's difficult to commentate because literally it is actually a slideshow. I don't know how good it is on YouTube, but trust me, it's oh my god. There's a pyramid. Yep. So it looks to me like, yep, there we go. I'm glad that I'm glad that, that battle's over, frankly, because I hated every second of it. Time to go buy a new computer because I'm pretty sure this one has melted. And next up is the Macedonian Empire with their phalanx, catapults, and Alexander the Great versus the Egyptian army. As of now, the score is 2-1 to the Egyptian army. Will this even the odds? Okay, here we go once again. Yo, Alexander the Great. Wow, slipping right through the cracks and causing the Egyptian army to slaughter themselves. That was a meta play right there. But uh, the pyramid is up and it is functional. Let's see. Some of the Egyptian regular units getting cut down here as more and wow, I barely see my screen again. More of the Macedonian units are now moving in, closing a distance against the queen who's called in another pyramid. And it looks like this guy back here is having a pretty rough old time. Can the catapult survive? And okay, look at this. This looks like a clean Macedonian victory. Well, actually the amount of dead units on the ground suggests otherwise, but it looks to me like the last unit tucked away behind the protective barrier here. And there we go, brutally executed as the Macedonians claim their victory, bringing the score to two to the Egyptians and two to their enemy. Now, at the start of the video, I told you about a totally accurate battle simulator announcement, and so here I am to give you said announcement. In the next few weeks, I'm going to create a new Tabs Faction tournament, and I want you to get involved. We need a bunch of new Tabs Factions for this tournament, and here are the criteria. The faction must be melee, it must be historical, and it must be balanced. Now, if you want me to use your faction in the series, then make sure you title the faction as Plastic Scott Faction Tournament, followed by the name of your faction. Once again, it's got to be melee, it's got to be historical, and it's got to be balanced. And whilst we're here, why not do another gentle reminder? Subscribe to this channel. Do it now. Now let's get back to the battles. Next up is the Korean faction, with their incredibly fast cavalry, spearmen, and the Hua Cha, versus the Egyptian formation. Once again, the score is currently 2-2, so this will be a tiebreaker. All right, here we go. Wow, remember that bit when I said the cavalry was wow? Okay, then. That definitely, that definitely was not what I expected to happen, but it had some profound, oh, wow, they just demolished half their army there. That was incredible. So the pathfinding on this map, as we have just found out, not perfect. Each of these two teams will have to quite literally climb the pyramid to get to their enemy, and I don't think these guys with the camels and the chariot are gonna manage. But I've got an idea. Do not fear. I'm gonna try and bait them round the side. It doesn't appear to be working perfectly. Okay, I'm off my horse. It's, uh, it's gone terribly. I've been bitten to death by a crocodile. And there we go. The walls are down. The conflict has begun. It's only... Ig oh my god, the cavalry coming over the side, only to get flattened like that. These wall abilities are about to destroy all the Egyptian units. That was a very badly placed wall. And the Koreans are actually quite thin on the front lines here. Maybe the Egyptians will win after all. Ooh, that guy just got sparked out. Look at that. That was sick. Oh, he's about to get flattened by a wall. He's about to get flattened by a wall. Goodbye. Bye. The queen found her way around the corner, and I bet she's gonna regret it if this reloads. The queen is about to be sent into space. Instant death to a wall. Oh, actually, no. Look at that. Somehow survived the wall collapse. Can it survive two wall collapses? Wow, okay. The watch is actually going ham, and there we go. Okay, this battle needs to end at some point, so I'm forcing the Huacha into battle. Let's see what happens now. Now they've got no excuse but to fight this battle. Let's see. Oh, hold on a second. There's actually Huacha coming around the other side. Maybe I didn't need to do anything, but I think this one's dead anyway. Yeah, it's dead. It's so dead. But if it doesn't die... Which, okay, which it has. Then the enemy has all of these arrows to contend with. 
I reckon they can survive one more of those. Oh, yep, there we go. And would you look at that? The Huat Chao moving into battle on its own, unassisted. Where are these guys hiding, bro? Come on. Why you gotta do me like this? Okay, let's bring one round. Right, your turn to try and get to the Huat Chao. Oh, okay, next one. There we go, your turn. Oh, he slipped through the crack. Oh, he's whipping the boy. Is he gonna get him? Is it? No, no, he's not. Okay, last one. Uh, let's see if you can get the guy before he reloads. Good luck. And there we go. Wow. Yeah, no, yeah. It's uh, it's fair to say he didn't escape that one. Kind of had to force the battles there, but otherwise the battle would have never ended. But that was an Egyptian defeat, meaning the score is 2-3. Next up is Leonidas and his not quite 300 Spartans versus the Egyptian formation. Now, the Spartans are a household name, but this enemy has got seemingly a, a lot of magic. So, you know, we'll find out what happens. As is tradition, the Spartan Leonidas throws his sword up and the charge begins. Look at these lads coming, piling over the hill and wow, straight into a wall where actually, oh, somebody's turned the sun off again. I think that literally all of them just died behind that wall. This might be, wow, look at all that blood. This might be the worst performance we've had so far. Yeah, that just looks like a lot of dead Spartans to me. This is an actual mass grave. Somehow, some of them are still alive. The sun has been turned back on. Is Leonidas alive? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell what the hell's going on here. It does look, are those just bodies being thrown around or are there some alive units in there? I think that might just be bodies. Is there a dead or bugged out unit around here? I think there must be because these guys are dancing on the spot. Ah, yes, I found the enemies. Um, I think that a bunch of them managed to get pushed off the side of the map. Okay, wow. So that was was, uh, that was arguably the worst performance the Spartans have ever had. I mean, they all got stuck behind the wall and then the wall just went and crushed the whole lot. Well played. Okay, next up is the YouTuber faction, a faction we've not used in a very long time. It's got me, Baron Von Games, Daily Tactics, Captain Sauce, Blitz, and Crow. For those of you who haven't seen this faction before, this is also an incredibly overpowered faction, so let's find out who wins. Here we go. I kinda can't remember the abilities, but Captain Sauce, okay, the whole, the whole gang's getting trapped in there, boys, aren't we? Oh, and I've team killed. Wow, I team killed. Okay, am I the last man left? No, nope, Blitz is still alive, but I'm pretty sure I killed Crow, and the rest of us are almost certainly dead. I think I just got impaled on a pyramid. Blitz is still alive. I'm still alive. Oh, uh, not anymore. I'm not. I think it's literally just Blitz left, and I think he's just been put down as well. So that right there was an absolute catastrophe. I'm actually ashamed to call that a battle. Totally accurate battle simulator, clearly I am out of touch. Now the Egyptians have won four battles and they've lost three and we're gonna move on to the final battle and if you're a channel veteran, you know what's next. That's right, it's the wave six zombies. All 100 of them. Once again, it will be fighting this Egyptian formation and let's waste zero time. Let's start the battle. This will be the ultimate test for the Egyptian faction but man, those walls are so unbelievable powerful. Oh my god. Literally what is happening here? I've got absolutely no idea. Okay, once again, frames per second appear to be an issue. What I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try taking my finger off the slow-mo button and we'll see what happens here. Again, I really, really, really do hope you enjoy Microsoft PowerPoint because this is going to be a slideshow and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna pretend that you're having a good time. So when I say, are you having a good time? You comment down below. Yes, this is very enjoyable. I thoroughly enjoy Microsoft PowerPoint. Why on earth would I want to see 60 frames a second when I can see two? A riveting final battle for everybody on YouTube to enjoy. What better way to end this video? It just gets worse. Are they winning? Are they not? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. In fact, it looks like they're not. Oh, oh, there we go. It was an abrupt end to the battle there. It just came to a dead stop. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> 
let's uh, let's move on to the outro, I guess. All right, if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you've not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. Once again, we're going for 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And like I said in the intro, subscribing is mandatory. Also, if you've not joined my Discord, it's linked in the description, so go click that. And once again, don't forget about the Tabs Faction Tournament. I need more factions made for the tournament. So if you want to make a faction and you want it in the video, then don't forget to put Plastic Scott in the faction name so that I can find it in the search results. Goodbye.